We begin with new details in the case of a missing mother. Leilik, this morning, the only suspect arrested in connection to the case is now facing new charges. That young mother, Leila Cavett, disappeared in late July and has never been found. And CBS 4's Brooke Schaefer is live at the Broward County Jail. That's where the suspect is still being held this morning. Hey, Keith and Maribel, some difficult news, of course, for the family of that missing mom. The man investigators had initially charged with kidnapping, now this morning facing a second degree murder charge. Self proclaimed witch Shannon Ryan charged with murder in the case of missing mom Leela Cavett. Why is it you have a missing girl or a missing woman and the last person that's seen her, which is me? You might remember Ryan's Facebook post last summer where he talked about the missing 21 year old mom. He told investigators they knew each other from Alabama and she was in town to sell him her truck. And now they're trying to make a connection with me to her, but. You got my phone. The search for Cavett started last summer after a Good Samaritan found her two year old son wandering alone in Miramar. The 21 year old mom was last seen a day earlier on July 25th at a racetrack gas station. The suspect, Shannon Ryan, told investigators Cavett left the gas station in a car with two or three black men. But detectives now say surveillance video proves that missing mom was last seen getting into Ryan. Ryan's car. The FBI says the self proclaimed witch bought large trash bags, carpet odor eliminator, and duct tape. They found a search on his phone about making chloroform. And investigators say they also have surveillance clips of the suspect dumping a large object in a trash bag and what looked like bloody towels. And Keith and Maribel, investigators tell us they've also been keeping an eye on that mom's bank accounts and social media accounts. But still, as of this morning, there is no trace of Leela Cavett. As for Shannon Ryan, this morning he also faces a new charge of tampering with evidence. I'm live here outside the Broward Jail. Brooke Schaefer, CBS4, this morning.